Okay, Tony, we have speed. In three, two, one. And you are live. I'm Tony, back with more practical drone pilot business strategies. Are you anxiously awaiting for your drone business to finally take off? Of course you are. That's why you're here. You're wondering how to turn your passion into profit without playing guessing games. For many drone pilots, getting started in this wildly competitive industry feels like they'll never get off the ground. But what if the answer lies in an honest business expansion strategy that makes good sense? Let me ask you, what do you know about freelancing? My drone pilot colleagues and I love it. Freelancing provides a shortcut to earning, building your reputation, and setting yourself up for even higher opportunities. Today, we outline the seven actionable steps to becoming a remarkable freelance drone pilot faster and more profitably. Drone Pilot MBA, Freelance Success 101, that's our focus on this special issue of Drone Business Strategy Magazine. Thanks for joining us. Many drone pilots like us imagine ourselves building thriving drone businesses, but the reality is that breaking into the drone industry has its many challenges. There's steep competition, evolving regulations, and the difficulty of sustaining a consistent client base. It can feel like a wild and crazy ride just to get the business started. For many aspiring drone service providers, getting their aerial endeavor off the ground is just the first major obstacle. Another one of our fellow drone colleagues, Rob D. from Greenville, South Carolina, writes the following. I've got $10,000 to invest. I have a background in engineering. Recently, I've started researching the drone business and found that the photography market seems crowded. Should I specialize in one service or offer a broader range to get more jobs? What's the fastest way to get started? Rob, let me tell you from 30 years of experience and exhaustive research that there are no point-and-shoot paths to sustain business success. However, with keen attention to detail and drive, drone pilots can implement certain tried and true strategies to more quickly achieve brand recognition and start generating income, often within just two to four weeks. I'm talking about the business expansion strategy of freelancing. In fact, from experience, I believe that freelancing is a logical and highly effective solution to streamline the startup challenge. As a freelance drone pilot, you'll have more control and flexibility, the wherewithal to build your portfolio, and most importantly, a way to generate income while minimizing overhead. Freelancing is an ideal starting point for those drone pilot entrepreneurs looking to get their foot in the door and ultimately to expand into a larger operation. Here are seven strategic steps that will help you become a profitable freelancer efficiently, profitably, and sustainably. Step number one is master your drone skills and get certified. The bullets for this step focus on three key actions. Learn the importance of skill refinement, invest in training and development, and obtain necessary certifications, i.e. FAA Part 107. Before you can profit as a freelance drone pilot, 
Your skills must be well-practiced, refined, and tax sharp. Make the time to invest in training and development, especially if you plan to specialize in areas like aerial photography, mapping, or infrastructure inspections. Staying current with industry standards is crucial to staying competitive. Equally important is ensuring you have the necessary FAA Part 107 certification or equivalent in your country, which is a non-negotiable requirement to operate legally and professionally. Mastering your skills and becoming certified will build trust with your potential clients and set you apart from hobbyists. Step number two is know the market, understand the competition, and identify a profitable niche. The bullets for this step focus on three key actions. Conduct thorough market research, identify growing industries for drone services, and find gaps in the market for a profitable niche. The key to profitable freelancing lies in understanding the market you'll serve and the current competitors a.k.a. other contenders. First, conduct thorough research to determine which industries are growing in demand for drone services, whether it's real estate, construction, agriculture, or public safety. Next, assess what services are most in demand and what your competitors are offering. Be sure to scan for gaps in the market where you can carve out your niche by offering something unique with greater client value. This will help you avoid being lost in the noise and instead position you as the expert in a particular drone discipline, making it easier to attract clients. Knowing both the market and your competition will give you the knowledge you need to identify a profitable niche that best aligns with your strengths and your objectives. Step number three is build an impressive portfolio. The bullets for this step focus on three key actions. Showcase your skills through diverse projects. Use early projects to gain reviews and testimonials. And highlight unique offerings in your portfolio. Your portfolio is your most valuable tool when trying to attract clients. Once you've identified a niche... Focus on building a portfolio that showcases your skills and expertise. Early on, you may need to offer discounted services or even work for free to develop a solid body of work and earn positive reviews. However, with that stated, always weigh out the pros and cons carefully when offering discounted services. Remember, always sell your value never your price. The power in your impressive portfolio is that it highlights diverse projects that will visually demonstrate your ability to render high-quality results. An impressive portfolio, coupled with client testimonials, will set you apart from your competitors and help establish your aerial brand's credibility. Over time, your portfolio will become a foundational pillar of your business growth. Step number four is leverage online freelance platforms. The bullets for this step focus on three key actions. Use platforms like Upwork and Fiverr and others to connect with clients. Understand costs, features, and customer service of each of these platforms. And optimize your profile to attract clients. 
With your portfolio tested and ready, it's time to get your work in front of potential clients. Platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, and niche drone service websites are great places to connect with businesses looking for freelance drone services. I strongly suggest that before proceeding, make sure you know all the costs, features, and rules of engagement on each platform. Know the fees they charge, such as a percentage of your earnings, and how they handle payment processing. Equally important is researching the customer service practices of these platforms. Do they provide adequate support to freelancers? How do they handle disputes? What do the reviewers have to say? Believe me, a platform with strong customer service practices can be a vital safety net. Once you've chosen the right platform, optimize your profile by highlighting your certifications, niche expertise, and what sets you apart from the competition. Over time, positive reviews and completed projects will help boost your visibility and increase the value of your aerial brand, leading to higher paying opportunities and more of them. Step number five is invest in the right equipment. The bullets for this step focus on three key actions. Invest in quality drones and cameras. Budget for accessories and maintenance. And stay competitive with updated equipment. The quality of your work and the value of your aerial brand will depend significantly on your equipment. So, in order to attain your competitive advantage, invest in drones, cameras, and software that meet the demands of your niche. For example, if you specialize in real estate photography and or videography, having a drone with a high-resolution camera is required. If you're focusing on mapping or inspections, you'll need drones equipped with LiDAR, RTK, or other advanced sensors. To help you stay up to speed and competitive, knowing what equipment your competitors use can also guide your purchasing decisions, ensuring you don't lose airspeed. Be sure to budget for accessories, maintenance, and potential upgrades to ensure that your tools always meet or exceed client expectations. Investing wisely in your equipment will not only elevate your independent drone service, but will allow you to justify higher rates for greater profits. Step number six is develop a client-centric approach. One of my favorites. The bullets for this step focus on three key actions. Learn client needs and challenges. Communicate clearly and set expectations. And aim to exceed client expectations for a repeat business. Freelancing isn't just about flying drones. It's about delivering value to clients. To succeed, you need to adopt a client-centric approach. In a nutshell, a client-centric approach is to understand your client's needs and challenges and offer customized solutions that solve their problems, achieve their goals, or satisfy their needs. I refer to this as need satisfaction selling. Always keep this in mind, too. Clear and timely communications is crucial. Set expectations early. Stay transparent throughout the project and always aim to exceed those expectations. A client-focused approach builds trust, fosters long-term relationships, and often leads to repeat business and referrals. And here's a pro tip. Be sure to always follow up with every client. By staying in touch, 
you'll have recurring clients and you'll gain fresh referrals too. Remember this, the most successful freelancers are those who not only meet client expectations, but consistently go above and beyond. And finally, step number seven is know the market and competition when pricing strategically. The bullets for this step focus on three key actions. Research market rates and competitor pricing. Offer tiered pricing packages. And consider all expenses when setting prices. Pricing is definitely one of the trickiest parts of freelancing but it's essential to get right for long-term profitability. So start the process by researching what your competitors charge for similar services in your niche. I can tell you, knowing the market rates will help you stay competitive, but don't simply race to the bottom on price. Instead, consider offering tiered pricing packages to cater to different client budgets. As you gain experience and build a strong reputation, you can gradually raise your rates. Also, when setting prices to ensure your business remains profitable, make sure that you accurately account for your expenses, such as equipment maintenance, insurance, and taxes. Remember, a well-informed pricing strategy based on market and competition analysis will keep you in the air flying and profiting for the long haul. All right, here's the takeaway. Freelancing as a drone pilot offers an accessible, flexible path to profitability, but it requires careful planning and strategy. By mastering your skills, identifying a profitable niche, understanding the competition, and tailoring your services to meet client needs, you can quickly build a sustainable freelance career or side hustle. Freelancing can be the perfect starting point for building credibility, gaining experience, and eventually growing your drone business into something larger. With these steps, you'll not only get off the ground, you'll get your foot in the door while cleverly setting your heading for long-term success. That's a wrap for this Drone Pilot Business Strategy Session, Drone Pilot MBA, Freelance Success 101. I'd like to thank Rob for his great question today. You'll find more information and important links pertaining to today's strategy session in the description below. Also, I have written and published over 150 articles related to drone business expansion strategies to help you grow your business wisely. Help yourself to all the available free resources to help you fortify your drone service business at aerialnorthwest.com. I hope you found today's insights valuable. If you did, please do click the like button. For more information and upcoming practical drone pilot tips and tactics, please freely subscribe to the channel. I will continue to work hard to bring you the best of drone business strategy. Like Rob, should you have questions or would like to share your ideas in a future issue of Drone Business Strategy magazine, do drop them in the comment section below. Until next time, I wish you clear skies and fun flights. I'm Tony Marino. Thanks for watching and keep on droning. Looks good. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> to more profitably thrive. To more profitably thrive. Do I have lint on the shirt? Because last time I had like a really crazy hair on my shirt most of the time. <laughs> Managing invoices, tracking expenses, and filing taxes, taxes, taxes. As a soldier in Jebashamanam.
You're in the thick of it. <laughs> Testing one, two. <laughs> Test, are your ears bleeding? You're juggling flights. Do we have like balls? I could do some juggling if you want to. <laughs> As a sole drone, throw the ball and I can juggle. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you'd like to hire us, you can get more information by visiting aerialnorthwest.com. Be smart, safe, and fly responsibly.